Music is said to be a universal language, but for millions of people around the world, access to music is a profoundly different experience. Chase Burton is a filmmaker in Texas. He's working on a soundtrack, wearing a special vibrating suit that allows him to feel the music instead of hear it. Because Chase is deaf. The sound hits different parts of your body. Maybe it will strike me down in my ankles first, and then I'll start to feel the vibrations in my back, and then I'll start to feel some pulsations in my wrist. When I'm working with the composer on a soundtrack, I can finally get a good sense of, oh, okay, this is what I want to do here. The suit is a way for the composer to communicate with me more directly about what's going on with the music. I think it's amazing. The device was developed by a team of designers in California. They've called the project Music Not Impossible. Their goal was to figure out a way to experience music by bypassing the ear and instead go through the skin using vibrations. The tech features a harness which straps around the waist and chest and these ankle and wristbands. There's a total of 24 vibrating points all over the body. Before this type of haptic technology, how would you experience music? It's really simple. Just turn up the music as loud as you possibly could. Oftentimes, I would just be blasting the music while I'm driving in my car. Growing up, my brother had a band. My bedroom was directly above the garage. I would lie on the floor, and I would feel the music coming from my brother played downstairs in the garage. I think that was really the start of my initial intrigue. This new full body experience is a sensation the creators want to extend beyond the deaf community. Two years ago, Not Impossible Lab staged a mass scale experiment. They supplied 150 of the vibrating suits to a rock concert in Las Vegas and fitted them for the whole audience. Half of the crowd was deaf and half was hearing, allowing the entire crowd to share the same concert experience, creating what Not Impossible Labs calls music equality. I see the technology as a real opportunity to bring both deaf and hearing audiences together and create a new kind of experience. An experience that helps people empathize better with the idea that music or movies don't always need to be enjoyed through the ears. A universal experience is what Chase wants to create with his work too. For his film, Mother, which released last year, he helped compose a spine-tingling soundtrack. shot by mostly deaf crew and actors. I wanted to create something that was totally inclusive. A film set where all of us can speak the same language. I worked on a lot of hearing sets with hearing people, and I think my biggest frustration was the feeling that I was always kind of one step behind. Maybe try to guess what people were saying. I didn't want to do that anymore. With music not impossible, Chase believes he is one step closer to making his art truly universal.